Forty-four-year-old Qualam Nabi has been working on the streets of Kabul since he was 11 years old. Like his father before, he is a street photographer, one of only two left in the city. This film demonstrates how Qualam Nabi takes a photograph with his wooden camera, known in the Dari language of Afghanistan as the Camera E40. The Instant Camera Happy to have a customer seated in front of the camera against the backdrop of black fabric, Nabi fills two trays separately with premixed chemical solution for developing and fixing the photographs he will take. He then makes sure the customer's face is pointing directly towards the lens of the camera. Gripping the sturdy wooden legs of the camera, he adjusts its position to secure the perfect framing of his client. The next step is essential to take a sharp image. Nabi opens the back door of his camera and peers through. Pulling and pushing the focus pole backwards and forwards, Nabi positions the focusing plate of the camera. The customer is now in focus. And to ensure he stays so, Nabi marks the position of the focusing plate with a clip on the focusing pole outside of the camera. The next step is to place the photographic paper onto the focusing plate. To do this, he inserts his long right arm inside the camera via a light tight black sleeve. With his left arm, Nabi pulls the focus pole, sliding the focus plates to the back of the camera. With the focus plate no longer obstructing his way, he takes a sheet of photographic paper from inside a light tight box on the floor of the camera. and deftly inserts it into the paper holder attached to the front of the focusing plate. Drawing his right arm backwards but still remaining within the sleeve, Nabi pushes the focus plate back in position. The camera is now focused and loaded and as Nabi is about to expose the photographic paper to light, the customer has to remain absolutely still. Bending forwards over the contraption and with a sudden flurry of his left hand, Nabi removes the lens cap from the camera and executes the commission. The customer can now relax and Nabi moves the camera into the shade to continue working. Showing an impressive dexterity of movement, he simultaneously removes the exposed paper from the holder with his right hand and pushes the focusing plate forward with his left. Paper clutched between his fingers, he first places it into the developing tray. On the top right hand corner of the camera is an eye hole. Nabi presses the right eye over the hole. Careful that he is completely covering this orifice with his eye, he pulls the shutter back from the eye hole. Nabi awaits the appearance of his client's image on the surface of the photographic paper. Relying on his experience and plain observation to tell him when the image is fully developed, he next closes the eye hole shutter and places the paper into the tray of fixing chemicals next to the developer. Stopping the image from fading, the fixer is an essential part of the process. Judging the fixer to have begun its work, Nabi opens the back door of the camera and is able to see his work. He now has a photographic negative. 
but the client would not be happy with a negative image, as it is not accepted on photographic identification. Nabi needs to make a positive print. And setting out to repeat the same steps of the initial process, he washes the negatives clean in a bucket of water he always keeps handy. Removing the negative from the bucket, he spreads water over the holder attached to the front of his camera and innovatively taking advantage of the adhesive qualities of water, wood and paper, sticks the negative to the holder. He then snaps the holder into position. But for Nabi, a perfectionist of his art, some minor adjustments are still to be made. These done, he repeats the initial steps and sets about focusing on his subject, now a negative print. Inside the camera, he once again places paper in the paper holder and exposes it. The paper is developed and fixed. And after all this hard work, he opens the back door of his little wooden camera. Revealing the pinnacle of his work, a positive image, a human-like resemblance. Which must be washed and dried and cut into shape before being accepted by his client. And the authorities. Wrapping the freshly produced image with pre-cut strips of paper, Nabi hands his handiwork to the client. Between photographer and client, the transaction is now almost complete and only the exchange is required.